Let's take a few minutes to talk about strabismus. You can find this information in your NCLEX RN content review guide. At the conclusion of this video, the nurse should be able to identify the appropriate care for a client diagnosed with strabismus. Strabismus results from overaction or underaction of one or more of the extraocular muscles. This leads to an involuntary drifting of one eye out of alignment. Typically, this is seen in children who are otherwise normal and healthy. It can be associated with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, hydrocephalus, and brain tumors. You can also see strabismus present in an adult client, one of the most common causes being a stroke. This can also be the result of trauma, either to the eye itself or brain trauma. It can be seen in Graves' disease. When you assess the client, you see deviation of the eye, which can be either inward or outward. It can be unilateral or bilateral. This is why one of the common lay terms for this condition is lazy eye. Your client may complain of diplopia. You may see your client tilt his or her head or squint the eyes in an attempt to focus their vision because again, their eyes do not function as a unit. An assessment that can confirm the presence of strabismus would be an asymmetric corneal light reflection. For implementation when we're caring for clients with strabismus, we want to improve eye alignment so the eyes work together, giving the client binocular vision. In children, non-surgical intervention should begin no later than the age of six. This often includes corrective lenses, which is combined with other therapies to help improve the client's visual acuity. Eye exercises, which are designed to strengthen the eye muscles, one commonly being using a patch, you occlude or cover the unaffected or stronger eye in order to strengthen the muscles of the weaker eye. This client may require surgery directed at the rectus muscle in order to correct the defect. In evaluating care for your client with strabismus, has normal vision been restored? Is your client compliant with the exercise regime? Here is a practice question. The red reflex test is a test for anomalies of the cornea, the anterior chamber, lens, or retina. This is not directed at confirming the presence of strabismus. Visual acuity testing. Your client may have alterations in their visual acuity resulting from untreated strabismus but testing their visual acuity is not a specific indicator for the presence of strabismus. But the cover-uncover test would confirm the presence of this condition. Movement of the observed eye while the other eye is covered will let you know strabismus is indeed present. Stereo testing. Stereo testing determines the presence or absence of binocular depth perception. This is not a specific test for strabismus.